Hey brave ones, in this video I will be showcasing my whole step-by-step -step process for carousel creation so a like to this video would be greatly appreciated. Without further ado, let's jump straight into the value. A carousel first begins with the idea. My ideas come from interacting with my audience as well as being mindful and in the present about my work. Once an idea comes up, it's super important to write it down as soon as possible. That's why I use the notes application on my iOS device. If you're struggling to get content ideas, I also recommend tools such as Quora, Answer the Public, as well as What to Tweet. These tools are super powerful and will help you generate dozens of content ideas in the matter of minutes. Once the idea is there, the next step is creating the copy for my carousel. I use a custom created Excel sheet which enables me to follow a structure and at the same time create my copy draft in the matter of minutes. If you watch until the end of this video, I will be showcasing you how you can download my custom created Excel sheet for free. I create all of my text drafts really quickly in as natural as possible of a momentum because by doing so, when people are reading my content, they can feel like I am speaking directly to them, just like I am speaking directly to the camera right now. The next step in my carousel creation process is finding the right photos. I personally use Freepig, but there are tons of different variants out there in the market, such as Envato Elements, Adobe Sock, as well as some free alternatives such as Unsplash. Usually I generate ideas, I write my text copy and find imagery all in batches meaning that I spent one day only on IG generation, then the next day I create all of my copy and finally I find all of my imagery. By doing so in one day I can find all of the ideas that I need for the whole month and I am far more productive because my mind isn't jumping constantly from task to task such as if you're creating content every single day, meaning you begin with your idea, then you shift into finding the right imagery, then you write your copy, then you try to design everything and schedule it. That way your mind is basically jumping from one task to another, which is super unproductive. That's why my alternative is to batch all my tasks and make sure that specific days have specific tasks aligned with them. If you're enjoying the video this far, make sure to leave a subscribe because that way you will be able to see my next videos helping you dominate social media. Step number four in my content creation process is actually taking everything that I've done so far and merging it in one piece. I personally use Photoshop, but I know that different creators use different tools such as Canva, Illustrator or even Keynote. If you're not going to be utilizing a lot of images in your content and you want a little bit more powerful tool, I recommend you Illustrator, especially if you're on PC. On the other hand, if you have a Mac, I definitely recommend you Kino as it is really fast and works extremely well for carousels which are typography based. On the other hand, if you want a style which closely resembles mine, then Photoshop is the best tool at your disposal. There is a free browser alternative called Photopea, which you can also play around with if you don't want to pay for Photoshop. Here is how I create my carousels in Photoshop. I start off by placing my whole carousel text on my canvas. Then I add the images that I want and I make sure to merge them with black to transparent gradient. I add my brand and camera raw filters in order to make my carousel stand out from the competitors and be easily recognized by my audience. I use the Photoshop guides in order to slice my carousel in 10 simple slides extremely easily and then I save my carousel for web. This is my whole Photoshop process. Of course, you can definitely add and substitute different elements based on your carousel style, but this is what I do to create my impactful carousels. And the last step in my content creation journey is actually scheduling. I personally use the tool called Creator Studio, which is created by Facebook and is verified to use as a scheduling tool. You can also use tools such as Later, Hootsuite and Buffer, especially if you plan on utilizing these tools for more than one social media network. Creator Studio, on the other hand, works fantastically for Facebook as well as Instagram. And once you connect your Instagram page, everything is so intuitive. As promised in the beginning of this video, I will be leaving a link to download the free content creation Excel sheet 
in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it as well as watch these two videos because that will blow your mind.